Hello everyone and welcome to Game 2 in the series between Remind and Reprisal. Game 2 taking place here on Echo Isle Reprisal. Spawning as the teal human player over here on the top right hand side of the map. Meanwhile we see Remind spawning as the orange night health spawning on the top left hand side of the map. As we see pretty much a standard build coming in from both of these players. Ancient of War being established in order to be able to tank and creep out the mercenary camp most likely we will see militia creeping of the mercenary camp over here and then this may turn into a mercenary war mercenary wars very very common what happens is both players clear out the mercenary camps human players generally can establish an expansion very quickly and then try to utilize the the production value of the mercenary camp and build a large army that way now, Echo Isle, once again, is a fairly small map, so we'll see how uh, what exactly unfolds on this map as this game does get underway. Warden as the first hero coming in from Remind, so Remind looking to get Warden first. Meanwhile, it will be an Archmage, so Remind with this, with this Warden may be able to get a lot of harassment damage in. Warden's one of those heroes that are very, very good at sniping, very good at chasing down enemy heroes. If this was Dota, I would say that the Warden is a true ganker hero, able to initiate a fight, clear out heroes, and then any time that the hero is caught by himself is pretty much in a one-on-one -on -one fight, very much in trouble. We can now see the Wisp now making their way in down over here. It looks like we may have a Wisp chase. Um, where, or nope, it looks as though the Ancient of War is just going to be creeping out this, eating a tree first, in order to regenerate hit points, and now making its way over. Now, we can see Militia are making its way down. Wild Elemental Shadow Strike is going to be the first ability coming in from the Warden. As we see, this game does get underway. Lightning Shield now adding additional DPS to that archer trying to finish off more of these units the archer should move away there making sure to not let allow the lightning shield to get that final shot remind does go for a troll shadow priest meanwhile militia creeping the ogre magi camp by the natural expansion so it may be a straight up fast expansion here and this will give reprisal a very strong economic lead but i'm not sure if he'll be able to translate that into a surefire victory as we now see a troll trapper ensnaring one more unit and now the water elemental apparently outlived its usefulness and gets taken out wisp making its way over is going to see that the mercenary camp has not been creeped out and now pretty much knows that it will most likely be in a fast expansion attempt we can see an arcane tower is being built a town hall going to be added off over here at interesting location so that one arcane tower is already offering a good amount of cover fire as we now see the level 2 archmage train up brilliant aura the warden does pick up a ring of regeneration one of those items where it's kind of tricky to figure out whether or not it's good the warden um, having that item on a warden when a hero likes to be off by herself could be very very useful as it's able to shadow meld and heal up a lot of the damage it's taken um, I also personally like Double Ring of Regenerations on a Paladin. Makes them almost impossible to kill as a Divine Shield also heals up a lot of hit points as well. And, and the cooldown on Divine Shield relatively fast. We're going to see the Warden now make its way across the map. It does have Gloves of Haste. It hasn't used any real Shadow Strikes just quite yet. Perhaps going to be looking for an Archmage. The Warden's going to pick up Boots of Speed. And now start to do some harassment as she is already level 3. Level 3 Warden. It could have Fan of Knives. Blink in, Fan of Knives, Blink out. Always a very dangerous, dangerous battle. Especially if it's able to Blink inside here. We'll see what's going to happen. As we now also have a Hunter's Hall now being established. Where is this going to go? Where is it teleporting to? Um, oh, down in here, and oh, able to uh, teleport in with through the Wisp, and now just getting in a lot of damage across multiple units. Another Phantom Knives could be coming in. There's another Phantom Knives, as the Arcane Tower is still not yet completed. We'll see what's going to happen here as the Warden now down to 300, and now going to go ahead and regenerate those hit points using that, um, using that Ring of Regeneration 
as I mentioned earlier, very effective as all the peasants are now being forced to move down over here. And now it is one base um, compared to one base as the Arcane Tower has completed. There's the Fan of Knives. It has finished. Are we going to get a blink? Perhaps a Staff of Teleportation could be used in order to get out of there. And it looks like it will be a Staff of Preser um, Teleportation as we also have a Pandoran Brewmaster. Pandoran Brewmaster really effective with that breath of fire but all remind needs to do now in order to get ahead is go spell breakers that is a lot of aoe damage across the fan of knives and the breath uh, breath of fire very effective but not very effective against spell breakers as they are in fact magic immune Remind trying to run away with this troll shadow priest. Will it be able to do so? It looks like it will. And now the Pandaren Brewmaster should be able to get off some more Breath of Fires. There's a Breath of Fire. And now tanking some of that damage next to that Tree of Ages. You can see that the Warden is in trouble. Needs to perhaps use a Staff of Teleportation. Can't blink out. And this is really bad. Using a, a Scroll of Town portal instead. And the Scroll of Town portal most, mo will most likely get, get the Moon Well going. One Footman is now down. Get another Moon Well recharge. There you go. And now getting a more Fan of Knives. And perhaps taking down even more units still. It looks like the Warden is going to be able to finish off this Footman. Down to 11 hit points already. There it goes. As now the Pandaren Brewmaster going toe-to-toe -to -toe against an Archmage. Still the Warden chasing after more units. Trying to deal and finish off this Troll Shadow Priest. No Shadow Strike. A Shadow Strike would pretty much seal the deal here as the Troll sh as the Shadow Strike does deal a lot of damage and also slows down the unit. And we'll see what's going to happen here. It is trying to heal itself. And the Troll Shadow Priest has taken a lot of damage so far. Is a Phantom Knives ever going to come in? And it looks as though, yes, it, the Troll Shadow Priest will get destroyed. Remind now back up to 75 mana as both sides. Trying to rebuild their armies. Reprisal seeing that 34 over 42. Needs to get to tier 2. Is taking the tier 2. Also getting up a lumber mill as well. As the Pandaren Brewmaster should get to level 2 here. After creeping out this Ogre Mauler shop at the Goblin Merchant Shop. We can see item has been picked up. Ringer, what was the item? And oh, a Shadow Strike hitting and uh, forcing a Scroll of Town Portal. Nicely done there. As we now have Drunken Haze on the Pandaren Brewmaster. Adding in a little bit more AOE and also causing those units to, or those footmen to not nearly be as effective. Also moving a little bit slower. Reprisal quickly healing back up using that scroll of regeneration. A lot more towers. Blacksmith now being added. Perhaps we will get double sanctum for spell breakers. But then a transition. Oh, as the warden now tries to come in. Unable to get any real damage here. As a new scroll of regeneration has been used. Ogre warrior, troll trapper units are battling it out here. We'll see how much damage can be had. A lot of the creep camps are already starting to get cleared out. We can see that the warden seeing that level 3 getting close to level 4. And with a very effective blink harassment. That warden can essentially be everywhere on the map. Very fast blinks, very low mana cost, very fast cooldown. And able to blink forward, blink forward constantly, fan of knives, and then make its way back out. The Warden now still hiding off over here, sitting at 142 mana. As we now see what Wand of Illusion has been picked up. That Illusion is taking a lot of the damage, and it looks as though the Ogre Magi will fall as well. Wand of Mana stealing a very nice item for that Pandaren Brewmaster. Able to deny Wand Elementals while dealing more Breath of Fires. And we are now going into double Arcane Sanctums. Most likely four Spellbreakers. And that is really going to neutralize the effectiveness of Fan of Knives, Drunken Haze, and Breath of Fire. There's a one Breath of Fire. Not only, what, only dealing... What, some 90 odd hit points or 80 odd hit points there. Not too effective. Needs to get another Breath of Fire. More Clarity Potions being used. Another round of Breath of Fire being used. The animation on the Breath of Fire is rather small. But the actual area of effect is quite large. As we now see Roar being used. In order to try to finish this off here. The Pandarin Brewmaster looks like it will be able to take down multiple farms here in just a moment. There goes um, one Barracks. As... 
The bears may now try to push their way in. The bear is going to take a bit of feedback damage. There's a breath of fire. One farm going to go down. Another farm going to go down as well. As we are now going to be doing a straight up push inside this base. The bear already tanking much of that damage. Breath of fire across multiple peons. And this is not looking good. There's a followed by a fan of knives. The only peasant surviving was the one that was hiding out in the gold mine. As we now see the army, the footmen, Mountain King, and Archmage make their way off to the north. Creep or Guard Tower now looking to fight back here. There's a Storm Bolt. Rejuvenation. Archer will quickly fall. There's a Roar now being used as Water Elementals are starting to fall. And an Abolish Magic. So level 4 now on the Warden. And that Warden can essentially just constantly blink if she wants to. But no, instead, training up Shadow Strike. So it's going to be Shadow Strike... And Fan of Knives being used as opposed to anything else as the level 1 Mountain King has fallen. Ancient of Wonders has been built a proxy shop right outside his opponent's base. Bears and Panda now going to do a push inside the main battle here. As there's only one guard tower and Reprisal can't really do much about this. Mountain King about 40% done. Mortar teams now pushing their way in. Slow has been cast. Units need to back off. And very, very slow Druid of the Claw. A lot of damage could be absorbed by, um, absorbed by these bears if they were actually in bear form. As we now see a lot of units. Oh, a fan of knives not hitting those units. They're a bit of a... A, a bit of a bad fan of knives and not being able to take down multiple units. As the Pander and Brewmaster getting level 2 Drunken Haze. So... Level 2 Drunken Haze, Staff of Teleportation, will it be used in time? Yes, with 4 hit points left. Wow, that was an absolute clutch Staff of Teleportation. One more point of armor, or one less point of armor, would have been the difference between life and death. As we now see the Pandarin Brewmaster trying to save multiple units and now retreat with the rest of these heroes. Warden does have the Clarity Potion. Gonna, oh, nice. Another Staff of Preservation. Saving up another low hit point unit. Another bear has survived. And we'll see what these Druids of the Claw are gonna do. Perhaps revert back into Druid form. And then try to rejuvenate. A new Town Hall being established at the main base. Still plenty of gold at that Town Hall. Meanwhile, Remind does have an Ancient of War Tree of Life here. No entangling on the gold mine as of yet. As Remind now looks to recoup his losses and get back into this game. Reprisal 46 over 48. Meanwhile, 50 over 50. Hero advantage definitely belonging to Remind. 4 and 4 compared to, I believe, a 3 and 1. Mountain King will get to level 2. Archmage is still very far from level um, level 4. So it's going to be a 3-2 versus a 4-4. And when your second hero is higher than your opponent's primary hero, that is always a good position to be in. Warden still battling it out. It looks like a lot of these creep camps are really starting to dwindle down. Down to about 5 creep camps on the map. And we'll see how this will all be used. Spellbreakers are being added as I expected they would be. But there are bears in this group. So this is going to be interesting to see how bears um, deal with spellbreakers. As we now see... Oh, what was that? Uh, I guess a proxy ancient, of pro ancient protector unable to be built along the backside. As we now have night crawlers going out and dealing a bit of poison damage only to fall to more bears. Warden just shy of level 5 now, as we see that the Mountain King is making its way across the center. It looks like it does have Boots of Speed. Will it be able to chase down any units is the question. As the Mountain King goes to the shop, what is he going to pick up? Potion of Invulnerability. He may need that on the way out, as he is going to get caught in the center of the map. That's really bad news. Uh, there's a attack. There's a Shadow Strike. Potion of Lesser Invulnerability being used. A Storm Bolt being used as well. And not very good use at all as the Mountain King now taking a lot of damage and may still end up falling to this. Another Storm Bolt being used. 
but the Shadow Strike dealing 150 damage. You can see that the Mountain King already down to 328. Spellbreakers arriving to the party. As all the Mountain King was really able to buy was a, one Scroll of Healing. The second Scroll of Healing transferred to the Archmage. So each hero will be able to heal, I believe it's 150 hit points. As we now are going into another Ancient of Wonders here. Warden will get to level 5, Pandarin Brewmaster will stay at level 4, and Remind looks to be in a serious, serious dominating position now. We'll see how this will work out. Claws of Attack plus 6 is going to be picked up by the Warden. Makes a lot of sense as the Warden does attack faster than, uh, than the Pandarin Brewmaster. As we are now going into Towers with S Magic Sentry. A little bit uh, curious trying to go for Magic Sentry as we now see Wisp attempting to run away. And now we have an attack over here. The Ancient of Wonders about to be completed. And we'll see how much damage can be had, it, had as the Guard Towers with level 1 Masonry upgrades are going to need to tank a lot of this damage. Breath of Fire quickly being recast here. Peasants need a repair as well. This Town Hall so far taking a beating and still keeps on ticking as the Mountain King now makes its way in. Spellbreakers joining in. Nope, they are not going to really be able to join in on this fight. Squirrel Town Portal forced to be used. There you go. Is it going to be enough to take down a bear? Yes, one bear does go down. So one level, one four food hit point unit, one bear gets taken out very quickly as we are getting guard towers in the center portion of the map. And this is going to be like bad news for Remind. Remind may end up losing a lot of a lot of mana on these units. Guard towers will fall. But Remind losing a fair amount of mana on that Druid of the Claw may not be able to get off even another rejuvenation for quite some time. You can see that the Mortar teams are looking to engage and focus down those Dryads. Will it be enough? There's a Stormbolt. And here you go. Damage now being dealt. S Spellbreakers coming in with spell steal, looking to take control of the roar and give it to other hero units. There you go. More damage being had, but a breath of fire coming in from the back, hitting multiple casters. And that was a very nice hit as the dryads are also getting destroyed as well. Fan of Knives, really nice concave here. Some of the bears unable to engage right now. Slow has been cast. A new bear coming in over here, and it could get focused down very quickly. Already down to 678, 687 hit points as the both sides are still battling it out. A new fan of knives comes in, but hitting a lot of the spellbreakers who are immune to magic. Shadow Strike onto the Archmage. Archmage now down to 152, able to back off ever so slightly. Down to 120. The spellbreakers need to get out of the way as a Breath of Fire would have finished it off. It looks like the Breath of Tire is not going to be able to do very much as we now see the Warden tried to chase and unable to do anything as the Archmage down to 98 hit points and this is where Blink would have come in very handy. Blink plus a Phantom Knives is instant death on that Archmage but now Reprisal is still in this game level 3 and level 2 compared to a level 5 and a level 4 who is almost also at level 5. More Spellbreakers being added to this army. Reprisal sitting at 70 over 72. Meanwhile, Remind sitting at 80 over 80. The next battle should determine much of what's going to be happening as there are a lot of Druids of the Claw in order to counter the straight up mass number of Spellbreakers. The Spellbreakers are effective while the, while the Bears have mana. If they don't have mana, then they deal substantially less damage. And... Um, can't take the damage from the hard-hitting normal attack of those bears. Invisibility being cast on the Archmage. We'll see what the Mountain King is going to be able to do here. Perhaps creep out this creep camp in peace. If he is able to do exactly that, then uh, with a level 3 Mountain King, the things might even up just a little bit more. 
as we now see a lot more units making their way out. None of these units have mana, unfortunately, for the Mountain King. So that means, or the Spellbreakers, that means the Spellbreakers cannot um, focus down those units all too quickly. Archmage able to keep track and knows where the Pandoran Brewmaster is as an attack is now going to be moved off to the main base. A quick bash, Giant Sea Turtle, down it goes. Level 3, a Pendant of Energy. So massive numbers of Stormbolts could be coming in. Arcane Tower now a Town Hall taking a lot of damage once again. There's a new aura or a, a new aura being changed as we now have a scroll of Town Portal. Are they going to be able to teleport in time? No. And this is a huge, huge loss as Reprisal now needs to run away with all of these peasants. It's currently seen at 20 over 30. Is the Archmage going to be able to put in a serious pressure while his at base is being attacked? Altar of Kings, double farms, and that is it. Spellbreakers upgraded 1-0. The Blacksmith not upgrading 2-0 as of yet. Where are these Spellbreakers going? They are going to be going straight into the Natural Expansion and perhaps taking down this one Ancient of War. Ancient of War going to lose or going to fall very quickly. No scrolls. There's the scroll town portal now coming in. Fan of Knives hitting across a lot of units. And now both sides battling it out. And we had a scroll of retraining. So the Archmage able to cast Blizzard across multiple units there. But it didn't really deal the necessary damage. And we should perhaps be getting up another Blizzard in just a second. As the units are in retreat. Dryads are in the front of this group. Dealing a majority of damage. As we now see the Archmage attempting to run away. Bears are still chasing in on this fight. Dryad after Dryad will fall. The Mortar teams, however, have been destroyed as a new round of Blizzard once again coming in. Cast, dealing damage, and I think all of these Spellbreakers will fall. Simply too many bears coming in from Remind. And Remind should be able to win this game pretty easily. Taking a 2-0 advantage unless the Warden falls. And the Warden, oh! I believe Reprisal did give the GG. Uh, that was awfully close. Thanks for watching. Thanks for listening. Hope you guys enjoyed game two.